Hi everyone, Sarah here from Mimi Designs. I am going to show you how to do the um, standing gnome, the interchangeable one. This one, you'll only have one stencil for the whole thing. The rest of it is going to be using just paint and scrapbook paper. So you will need your own scrapbook paper. Um, you can, one's gonna be for the hat and one's going to be for the shape. Um, these are the ones I got. They can be contrasting. You can just do what the hat and then just do this any color you want if you wanna do it color. But either way, you're going to start with painting the gnome and the shapes first. Um, I'm going to paint the boots and the hat black, even though these are gonna be interchangeable. I think black is going to be a color that most of my scrapbook paper is going to have. So I'm gonna paint the base of mine black and then we'll go in and we will stencil in the beard. I do like um, mine just a little bit distressed. So I'm gonna go around the edge and just give it a little bit of a warm. And I'm gonna do this on the hats too. It's pretty subtle. Also, feel free to paint your back. I'm not going to do it for time's sake, but I probably will later. So don't forget that. So the next step, this is the only stenciling we're going to do is the beard part. And that's just so we can get the shape of the beard. Your stencil might look a little different. You might just have the bottom piece. So, flip it over and line it up with the side beard pieces. So, let's see. So there's one and there's one. So these two dots, they don't have to be perfect. And I'll show you why. We just really care about this part. So when you find those two points, so there and there, they probably won't match up perfectly, but that is okay. Take the tape off. There, because all we care about is I'm gonna wrap that around and you can wrap that around. All we care about is this shape right here. Do I need this shape? Oh yeah, I need that shape too. Perfect, okay. Then you can see where the hat goes and the nose is gonna go right there. So you do want, I would bring, so you kind of mark it with a pencil here and here. That's how far up you're gonna to wanna to bring your beard. So I'm gonna mark it here and here. So you can Mod Podge this if you want. I'm gonna do super light coat, so I'm not going to Mod Podge. Feel free to get the beard any color you want. You can go with a dark gray. You can go with even just a white beard. I'm gonna go with like a super, super light gray. So especially around down here, if you didn't Mod Podge, really light coats. And then you're gonna build up those coats. So you don't wanna swipe down here where the stencil is. Here you can swipe, but down here, especially for the first coat. And then where you marked it, so I marked it right there and right there. You're gonna do all this gray and the sides. When you take your stencil off, don't worry if it's not perfect because I'm gonna come through and sand it anyway. And you're gonna have the little thing. You just wanna make sure that when your hat's going here and your nose is there, so I do wanna bring my gray up a little more up there, but I am gonna sand it a little bit. I'm also going to sand 
my nose a little bit and just give it a little bit of rustic. So I'm gonna just do some gray up there just to cover. And then I'll be right back for the next step. Next step is we're gonna do the hat. So you're gonna wanna make sure the hat is going the same way as the gnome over there. So you're gonna want the scrap paper like that. Then you'll flip it over and just trace it with a pencil, pen. And then you can go ahead and cut that out on, go a little bit on the inside of it. I just realized, I realized that I got the wrong <laughs> scrapbook paper. So I'll do the Christmas one now. So next thing is Mod Podge. You either can put it on a plate or put it directly on. So you don't want it too heavy because then it will like spread out the sides, but you do want to cover all the edges. I mean, it'll dry clear too. So just mod podge the whole thing. Then you can put this on. If it's not fitting on perfect, don't worry because I will show you what we'll do after. So just smooth out any glue. So that is good for now. So just put it aside and let that dry. As it dries, if it starts lifting up, just keep pushing it down. So let that dry. And then while that's drying, you can do um, the pumpkin. Uh, I actually, this is going on my Christmas one. So I'm going to paint this green while that's drying. So while this hat's drying, you can grab it just to see where to put the nose and then you can really use anything for this um i have a brush over here you can glue on you don't want too much on the sides because when you put it down you don't want it to push out the wood glue doesn't always it doesn't dry clear so you just want to keep it in the middle and then put it right there and then we can when you're trying to figure out where to put the uh, hands, you want to make sure that there's enough space to put to like there. Or if you have the other ones, make sure you go through them all and make sure they fit before you put them in. So I actually like those right there. So I'll put one there. And once they're down, you can scoot them around too. Go down a little bit. Let me see if that fits. So I want to go up. Perfect. So let those sit. I'll put this aside. Then this should be almost dry. What I'm going to do with this next is to sand it. I like the rustic. You don't have to sand it at this point at this point if you don't want to, but it will get rid of the extra paper that's hanging off. The sandpaper will kind of sand it off if you have it overhanging a little bit. And it will give it a little more of a distressed look and just finish off the edges. I don't know if you can see how that's doing. You can even sand the paper. If this is going outside, you can do a coat of Mod Podge over this to really seal it, or even a spray poly, or I'm just gonna leave mine just like that. So I ended up putting a little jute or twine around my Christmas tree. The fun part about this is that you can really do whatever you want on these. You can tie a bow around it. You can do any color if you get sick of it. Next year you can do something else on it. So let's attach them. How you're gonna do that is 
put it anywhere, probably right here. If you want, you can cut them and do that too. One there, one there. I'm gonna try one, see how it goes. This is how you're gonna get it so it's in the same spot. It's just lay it on there softly, like that. Then, line this up with the nose. There. That way you know it's gonna be matching up every time and it clicks right into place. And then you can also do that with the tree or the whichever one you wanna do next. And I painted my base um, black. I'll show you in just a minute. So there you go. He is all done. I don't, you might need another Velcro up there. It's totally up to you. You can't really see that. Sorry, I'll post a picture now.